Hello, welcome to this taste challenge. I still can't see the playback. I'm looking at a blank screen. It's bizarre. I don't know. It's saying, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. It might be doing that for everybody right now. It could be a YouTube problem. But uh, it just started yesterday afternoon. It's driving me nuts. So I have two gold tequilas. Montezuma introduced in 1974. Uh, it says imported and bottled for Barton Imports, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, but I think it's actually bottled in Kentucky, but it's saying Chicago, Illinois. I think it's just an office. Well, whatever. It's bottled in the United States. But they told me on the phone all their stuff's bottled at Buffalo Trace, all this import stuff. Okay, Montezuma Aztec Gold Tequila, product of Mexico. Uh, and uh, they used to have a lot of magazine advertisements for it and things like that, but not anymore. It's owned by Sazerac today because Sazerac bought Barton. So anything that was under Barton's umbrella is Sazerac today. Uh, probably even says it on the back. But there's a there's a, a recipe idea, Montezuma Aztec Gold, Mont Montezuma Margarita. Tells you how to make that. We'd love to hear from our customer, Sazerac.com. But if you look at Sazerac.com, they don't show this product. They, they don't have a, web, a, a website listing for it. Here's the Jose Cuervo Tradicional Gold, Reposado, rested, rested in uh, charred oak barrels, don't they say? I believe it's saying charred oak, double distilled. 100% agave. Let me update my notes. One hundred percent agave, and the other one is a mixed to mixed to tequila, which means they are allowed to have up to forty nine percent filler, if you want to call it mixed in. Uh, which uh, apparently they do because they're not saying anything about. Um, Okay, so at least it's showing. Morning to you, Mr. Amazing. All right. Uh, look at the Jose Corvo website. And it's Cuervo.com, not JoseCuervo.com. It's Cuervo. .com. All right. Uh, $30.99 is cheaper at uh, local stores around here. There's a uh, product details. Rested in charred oak. It's very technically in character. I'm going to put that in my notes. R Burley Sullivan says, you, same to you, Burley, rested and charred oak. 100% agave rested and charred oak. Now, is it newly charred oak? Uh, now, that's a different, that, hey, I don't know. Okay. The Montezuma looks darker. Plastic cap, and it's a weird plastic cork. It's like a hard plastic. It's not like that spongy stuff that normally has uh, the tequila in it. So this is strange. Okay. I was at Walmart today. They had it for $28.99. Montezuma, they don't even sell the glass bottles at Walmart anymore. They only sell the handles. 
Get like 20. 20 for a handle. <laughs> There's also a blue label Montezuma. It's a tequila label. <laughs> yeah, it's called Montezuma. It's like a, I don't know what it is. I never examined it. I just know they say it's a tequila liqueur product. Well, these are both pretty light, but the Montezuma's got a little more color to it, but it, it doesn't look like, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty pale, and this one's even paler. So I might close my eyes. See, I can't look at my screen to see if I'm, uh, like, you know, um, clear or blurry. I'll have to examine this. I'm going to check StreamYard. I might do a StreamYard video later just to see what happens. So we know the camera's working, but it's not working on playback. But that's I think that's coming from there in right there, not on mine yet. Okay. Talking about the platforms, and if I go on StreamYard and it's showing playback, then I know I have it. I might just do a test and then delete the video, which be fine. Yeah, this smells musty. This smells musty and weird. Agave hmm, fermented something. This smells more peppery, bouncy agave, you know what I mean? More lively. And it's not much of a delay on there. Good, 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 good. All right. So I could use this. I'm using the, the YouTube broadcast to look at my own playback. I think this is the Montezuma, but we're going to find out. It's got to be because it's it's kind of bland in the flavor, but not bad. It's not a bad flavor. It's just a little bland. Sun is coming out good. Um, but there's like a fermented substance underneath, like fermented. I don't know what it is. Now, remember, if you read your regulations, it says it can use any. type of filler up to 49%. It doesn't say what type. It doesn't say, well, it has to be a, a sugar distillate. It could be rum. It could be brandy. It could be uh, bourbon. But you see the problem. That wouldn't make sense. And, and why not? Because then it wouldn't have the character and the aroma. The aroma what do they say? The aroma and flavor generally associated with tequila. So you would have to be a neutral spirit so it wouldn't taint the flavor of the agave. So a grain neutral spirit, yeah, that's why they use the word neutral. That would work. Uh, yeah, so any, any, any neutral substance would work because you can't have a tequila that tastes like bourbon because it would be illegal. Unless you made, if you sold one called uh, you know, Wonder World bourbon bourbon flavor tequila. I guess you could get away with that. It would, you would have to be a. It would probably be in some like separate section of the store. You know, like a special liquor section. And I don't know who would buy it, but somebody might. Um. This has got to be, this has got to be the, you 
the Cuervo. Is it better? I think it's better. It's funny though because it really wasn't much better than the uh, the, 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 the Tijuana. It was a little bit better, but I mean by pennies on the dollar, not twice the price better. No way. So this this tequila hasn't really been living up to expectations. I have to concede. Now my problem, I didn't make the product. I bought it. I don't produce it. I don't work for the company. I don't represent them in any way. I don't get freebies from them. Some people accuse me that you get freebie. I said, no, I don't. I was getting some free stuff every now and then from uh, Paul on or uh, USA. But that's been years since I got anything, at least two years. And I'm not really looking to get a, the same thing again. And I haven't seen any other video reviews get anything from them lately either. Because it was like everybody was getting the same stuff uh, to review. And then it stopped. So I guess they just got tired of that promotion. They figured they played that, you know, they exhausted that avenue, which they probably had. Okay, about um, has any liquor company ever sent me anything? Answer, no. Have they ever come in? You say, oh, you're trying to dodge. Have they ever come into a store or come, come into some uh, festival or something and hand me anything? No. Would I take it? Yeah, I'd take it. And then I would tell you that I got it for free. But I... Oh, oh yeah. Let me backtrack. Well, yeah. One time they did. What am I thinking? Uh, this guy, a local guy, he's from New Orleans. He has a liquor company where he's making up or having it made for him. Uh, it's a strawberry flavored whiskey. It's whiskey with real strawberries. Listen to that fridge <laughs> squealing. Uh, and then it'll stop and then it'll run fine. It's strange, isn't it? Uh, and he gave me uh, a sample of the whiskey. But I bought the cream liqueur. Yeah, there was a cream, a coconut cream, I think. Mardi Gras cake cream liqueur, they call it. Mardi, it seemed like it was mostly coconut. And I had bought it at Walmart for $10. They had it on closeout. Crazy, right? And uh, But then he saw my video and he sent me a thing. said, I want you to try my uh, strawberry whiskey and i said okay and he, he he actually gave it to me i think he's a little upset that i gave it a b i didn't give it an a but i mean that's that's what it i thought it tasted good but i didn't think it was like excellent or anything i'm sorry that's why i don't like to do that because then people get upset well you want an honest review? You want me to just tell people what you want to hear? I, I'm going to give an honest review on the channel. So now when Modelo gave me the beer, I told him, I said, look, this is 2014, 10 years ago. I said, I'm not going to just say nice things because you gave me the beer. And they said, we already reviewed it and gave it an A minus. So I said, ah, they checked me out. They knew I liked it or loved it really. And so then they were prepared to go with the, go with the show, which is fine. They, they check me out. They knew I liked it already, so hey, I did it. Now, uh, I don't think uh, Camo will be contacting me to do any more videos, but I could be wrong. I might get an email today. Don't expect to Camo. I, I would retry it though, but that was oh, that was ten years ago. Also, what a what a what a fiasco. All right. Lazarus says, it's a few months till bourbon and the summer. Cheers, Mr. Le Bon Yeah, same to you. Bourbon and the summer. All right. I'm saying this is the Montezuma, and it's it's okay. I like it. I'd recommend it if you're not too picky, but uh, it, it's not up to the level of the Jose Cordova. Sorry. It is the competitor. So now i got two wins, two losses. Last night was craziness. I got it wrong twice. But I don't know what happened. I, I wasn't uh, feeling bad. I didn't eat any weird food. I didn't have a cold. Uh, I just just did a straight video like always, and um, I got it wrong, and I was just you know, flabbergasted. I said, well, Jose Cuervo versus Jose Cuervo gold. Maybe they're not that different. And, like, the price is only $5 different at Walmart. So I thought, well, that's just an anomaly. That's strange. And then I went up against the uh, El Toro, got it wrong a second time. Then I was just shocked. 
still shocked, really. But okay, so two and two, nothing to brag about, obviously. Um, and I'll try to go uh, up to three and two when I bring in the um, the war is from uh, Lux Code. That's a pretty good tequila. I got it so cheap. When y'all see that video, you're going to hear how cheap I got that leader bottle. It's amazing. I should have bought more, but I don't need it. You know, like, let everybody else buy it. A lot of people buy it because they thought well, it's so cheap in that discount basket, it's going to taste terrible. And I'm like, well, how do you know it's going to taste terrible? It's Look how cheap it is. Who cares? You haven't lost anything, but you're getting a, an entire liter, liter of tequila. But it's insanely low. But a lot of people just put it back. They wouldn't try it because you know, people are you know, like, "Oh, it's going to taste bad." No, it's not going to taste bad. <laughs> it might taste kind of not that great, but it's not going to. There's no liquors out there that taste like definitively bad. I haven't tried any. No, I haven't had a, a single one. I've had some that were sort of shabby, you know, but I haven't had one that was just like, oh, "I feel sick now." No. I don't believe so. And if it if it did happen, then I don't even remember. It. Okay, so um, usually those things are memorable, you know. Like you can't forget the you don't forget the camos. Um, moral camo silver ice, camo black ice, and camo camo four uh, it was six five X. I don't know what the five X's are for. Maybe if you drink it five times, you'd be X'd out of your life. Um, so cheers to the Cuervo traditional, but uh, honestly, it's not that fabulous at this point. Only scoring two wins, two losses. That is that's bad. Now, is it worth the extra money versus Montezuma? Um, I suppose it is. Let me see what Walmart's selling Montezuma for today. If they even have it anymore, I think they do. Montezuma seemed popular in Louisiana. There it is, Montezuma tequila. Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, pick it up today. Pick it up today. <laughs> I only live a mile from Walmart. It's actually not even a mile. It's less than a mile. It's like seventy-five percent of a mile. Eighteen ninety-eight. $18.98 for a full-size, uh, uh, um, I'm sorry, a handle, the big jug. Oh, man. This one was $8.99 when I bought it at the time of purchase. Let's see, $18.98. Then I'm going to get off of this. $18.98 divided by $17.50 times $7.50. Ah, yeah, you save uh, 86 cents per 750. Save a little bit of money. So you don't come out way ahead buying the handle. But you do technically you do technically save a little bit of money. And since Walmart only sells the handles, I guess uh, you really have no choice. Uh, Total Wine and Board sells the uh, handles and the bottles. Uh, the glass bottles. Mm -hmm. At the last time I visited, they did. Last time I checked. All right. Uh, cheers, Louisiana Liquor Reviews appears to be getting back to the top of his game. Oh, no, I, I don't think I was at the bottom of my game. Or even I think I was at the top all along. I, I think it was a, a, a question that this was, it's really an indictment of this. I just don't think this product was living up to the, um, to it. The silver, the silver did. The silver did. This gold has been uh, questionable. Now, I had trouble with the um, the rum. But think about it. That rum was so common, you know. I mean, how do you want to, uh, you take a common product, you put it up against a bunch of other common products, and you are run into trouble. I did finish with a winning record, though, nine wins, eight losses. All right, Lazarus says, Budweiser review, look forward. 
another Budweiser review. I've reviewed it like five times. Maybe I'll do an online review of something else. All right. But anyway, I got to check this camera and find out. I, I can see the camera's working. Obviously, I'm looking at the playback, but I, I don't know why it's working on the uh, live streaming little thing you set up. Usually, it will show it'll be working, you know. But right now, it's not. And it's very odd. But it's probably a, it's probably a problem with their platform. Like Facebook's having trouble with their platform right now. If you try to send links to and post something like an alcohol leg or a, a rock and roll club, it, it, won't, it won't work. You got to manually do it. It's irritating, aggravating. Talk ramen. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go do some ramen right now from uh, India or Nepal. And we'll see how that matches up with the Grohl Spear. Yeah. All right, y'all take care now. Bye-bye.